the real reason, uh, you know, I stopped talking to you and, and ghosted you was because of. Can y'all give me one second? Can y'all give me one second? Just give me one second. Just one second. Yeah. I know how you feel. Don't ever believe them. Cause the truth is, it's worth it. All right, so I'm gonna stop beating around the bush. I'm gonna just get to the point. It's kind of hard for me to say this. The real reason I ghost you is because, um, basically, I left you for my family. When I say my family, meaning I was married. Married. <laughs> so this whole time we talking, we kicking it, you were married. You basically made me a mistress. Is what the f you saying right now? Uh -uh. That's what it sounds like to me. Married means you were with somebody. You were married. I dead ass have half a mind. No, listen, listen. It's quarantine and flat. Listen, listen, listen. Shannon, listen. I was married, but I was separated. When my wife gave me an ultimatum. It was either be with you or I lose my family. So I did what was convenient and what was what seemed like the right thing to do. And that's to be with my family at that point in time. You know, it was mainly because of the love of my son. I mean, I just didn't, you know, I didn't I didn't think to even bring it up because when we met, we was just dating at first. But I didn't even expect it to us to even be like that. At the same time, that's something that you tell somebody on the first date. I'm married, but I'm separated. We were dating. I'm not gonna tell you everything on the first date. You want me to tell you that I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches too? Yeah, I wanna you. know that. Let's be honest, right? Let's okay. be honest. You, you okay. Gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna be honest with me. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're gonna be honest with me since we're putting everything on the table. Everybody in the city, everybody loves you. Everybody knows maybe Shannon. You on you in the club with these rappers. You got all these pictures with these athletes. I didn't I didn't feel secure. So I'm like, it's like, okay, this is Shannon or my family. You thought I was some type of hoe basically then. Like, because honestly, like that is my job. That is my job. I was at work. End of the day, I was not gonna leave the one I you know I love for the one I like. Yeah. Hi, Jay. What? Hi, Jay. I want to step hey. in here for a second. Just to be clear, Jay, you ghosted Shannon because your wife gave you an ultimatum? She definitely gave me an ultimatum. That's why when the last week we were supposed to go out on Friday, when you were texting me and go, that was like the week. Like, that was like, I knew Monday that I wasn't taking you out Friday. That almost makes this worse. Are you kidding? Why did you block her phone number, but you still follow her and liked her photos on social media? That, that's self-explanatory. Like, I had to block her from my phone, but I did want to, you know, keep eye on her, see what she was doing, be able to have better access to her. It wasn't your typical ghosting. It was more like ghosting, but I'm like still looking. Like, oh, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Like, I just wanted to just, no, I didn't want to block her from everything. And one last question, are you still married? No. At the end of the day, we it didn't end up working. Hey, we not even not even two months after me and Shannon stopped talking to me, I started talking. We was it was over with. It just, it was just a, it was a train wreck. Well, you know what, guys? I think we just heard a lot. I think what we should do is um, we should take a little break. Jay, maybe we can hop into a different chat. All right, ladies, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. All right. Shannon, I wasn't expecting that. Not a right. wife. Not a wife. It was literally like a roller coaster ride of like, what the f This one hits home for me because 10 years ago, before ghosting even had a term, my boyfriend ghosted me to go be with the mother of his child. So I totally feel you and understand you with this situation. You know, you ask, right? It's like one of the first things, oh, you have a child? What's the relationship? What's the dynamic like? With, with the mother and they tell you one thing and now you find out it's something different. Like, honestly, like, what do you do with that? Wow, uh, how do you feel, man? Oh, uh, it just feel good to even, just to talk to her. Cause like, we was into it. Like, you know, like it was bad. Like, oh, well, whatever, I'm going over here. Like, it was all good and I just, I just made the wrong decision. How did you know that you made the wrong decision? Did, did you and your wife move back in together and things? You bro, if I could show you my apartment, bro, she took everything, bro. Can you see that? Yeah. No furniture, bro. I say from the first week to the second week when she moved in, I was like, oh, like, damn, what did I do? Do you trust him? 
Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, what do you think you want to do? It's just so hard. It's not that I want to. You okay, Shannon? Yeah, just a little teary. Don't want to mess my makeup up. Huh? Oh boy. Is it knowing what you just found out or just knowing that you have to make this decision soon? I think it's just making the decision. It makes it hard just because I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like I feel stupid for wanting to forgive him even. How do you think you're leaning right now? Man, uh, I don't know, man. I, I... <clears throat> I think the damage is so severe, bro. I don't think she's gonna, you know, come back from it. So I wouldn't even embarrass myself. So I think I'll probably, probably just leave it as is and just keep things as it's been. I just don't want to see you make a second bad decision. You said you made the wrong decision the first time. Don't let, you know, your ego or your pride, you know, shoot something down that could potentially be good. I'm gonna give you a few minutes. All right, bet. All right, bro. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. What's up, Shannon? Okay. All right, guys, before we move on, do y'all have any last words before you make a decision? Look, Shannon, I'm, I'm sorry for, you know, for not disclosing. My mind was clouded, you know what I'm saying? I had clouded judgment, and, you know, and, I, and I made the wrong decision. Seeing you right now, and you say why you did what you did, I guess I understand it, but I'm hurt. I don't want to hurt you because I was hurt. I don't want to be that person, but I seriously don't know if I could ever trust you again. You said how you and your ex-wife are miserable together when you did try it again. What if that's our destiny? Because I don't, I know myself as a person and I don't know if I could let you live this down. All right, y'all, you both know that you have a decision to make, whether you want to make up or whether you want to ghost. Jay, if you can write your decision in the chat. Let's make up. Make up. And be friends again and see what happens. Why'd you come to that decision? I made the mistake. Obviously, I still, you know, had feelings for her. I didn't block her from Instagram or Facebook and things like that. Shannon J. Day made his decision. What's your decision? All right. I decided to make up. Yes, I want more. Yes. Can oh you say why you decided to make up? I don't want to hold grudges. That does not mean I want to date you right now. It does mean that I'm open to speaking with you and like us getting to the bottom of it. I just don't want to close that door all the way and ghost you because nobody deserves to be ghosted. You've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!